So I've recorded a video before on how to create an HMI from scratch, um, but in the past uh, it was assuming a level of knowledge that some of my PLC students don't have. So this is going to be a more stripped down version of that. Um, I've already created a program. This is a simple program. So if I toggle this bit, I'm using a memory bit and you can see behind me all of the lights on my trainer goes on. Basically that's how we do things. So blinky blinky on off. All right. Everything's it. And I'm using a memory bit, not physical hardware, because when you are creating the program and all I'm going to be doing is creating a, an HMI program where I put a, a button in, press the button, turn on all the lights. That's it. So if you're expecting more, look at some of my other videos, but this is my simple program. Um, I'm going to um, make my webcam big because I want to demonstrate a couple other things first. I'm sorry if it's a little Blair Witchy, but there is my you know, HMI and I'm see if I would get better. It's a little bit. I wonder if you can see that that well. Yeah, that's better right there. Okay, so in, this is the HMI setup right here. And the first thing I want you to look at is look at your terminal settings. You're going to need to look at um, your uh, um, factory, your system information. About Factory Talk Studio. Sorry if it's this is a little shaky, but notice you're gonna to need to know that on the ME station right there, eight zero. Okay, you're gonna to need to know that because when you create your program, that is what you're gonna to need to create it in. At least in this, in this is H zero. I'm gonna close out. The other thing you need to make sure you set up is your network and communications. Oops, I'm gonna go cancel, close, back up, network communications. Oops, cancel. I'm and do this and we want to go to um, network connections network adapters and this is where you set your IP address so I had IP address this is where you set your IP address you can see that the MAC address and everything that is how you will set all that up mine's already set up for my lab that yours will be different but you could just go in and set things up just like that okay so that's how you set it so this needs to be all set up you might need to reset the, you know, to, to actually get the IP address correct. And I'll hit close and close and close. All right. Um, you can also set up your startup options as well. So if you want to run the current application or just go to configuration you know, on start, you know, menu, um, this is what you, how you would set all that up. All right. So you can set your different options, um, replace the communications. This is, but uh, just some things you need to keep in mind, your time and date settings, whoops, terminal settings, time and date, you know, time, enter, and right now, obviously, this is not 549, I got 230, so I'm just going to go to um, backspace, backspace, two, enter, uh, backspace, backspace, and it's uh, 31, enter, um, and seconds is fine, and then the date. It is not 2015, so backspace, backspace. It is 2020, and today is 916. So that's how you would set all this stuff up. Enter, okay, close. And that's how you set everything up on your HMI. Make sure all this is, is, is set up and ready to go. And we'll demonstrate how to do this in a second. Go back to my little camera setting, and let's go back to the program so so this is my HM, this is my program notice i'm online i'm already downloaded everything's working before you set up an hmi program make sure you got a working program also know where you save this as um, the program that you're going to find is factory view studio and mine booted up on a different screen so let me maybe move that over here to show you what it looks like So this is what it looks like. When you first start up, it's going to ask you what type of, uh, of HMI. This is the last, you know, what was the last application. You can go backwards in applications. I'll show you how to do that when we execute the MER. But I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to do Systems Go because that's what we're going to set up. Systems Go and Create. And it should create the runtime application. Now, this is only going to be used on your local computer for you to set up. Um, to transfer between different computers, you're gonna need to export the files. That's a different, a whole different video. Um, kind of annoying, to be honest. Uh, but just keep that in mind. It just takes a second to load up. I'm not gonna fast forward. Oh, my computer's faster, so it's doing a better job. And 
true, uh, full disclosure, I have not done HMI on this computer yet, so something may come up, and hopefully it doesn't, but we're going to figure it out together. Um, the first thing I would do is go into your project settings, and this is where you need to make sure that you have the right project window size. I have a, and in my lab, I have the four and 600, the smaller panel size. And you can see that if you see, my, you can see that kind of up here and you can go through that. Um, so I have a smaller panel size, so I gotta make sure you change that right away. So make sure that that's set up first, because if not, you're gonna have a, a, a big screen and a little HMI. Um, so Tommy Boy reference. So that's the first thing I do, go into project settings, set things up. The next thing I would do is set up your communication. Uh, settings. And you're going to go into RS Links Enterprise Communication Setup. You might be able to, if you're in a plant somewhere, you can export this in, you can import that. I'm going to create new. So hit create new and hit finish. This will pull up something that looks like RS Links. I'm going to move this over here, my video over there. And with the first thing you do is hit add. Give it a name. I'm going to say PLC. You can say other things, but I'm going to say PLC. Click on the Ethernet or the back and it should populate everything that's out there on the web now in theory this computer could not work as an hmi and we are in the design environment and you're connecting to the plc so this is my processor and notice the apply button has now become active i'm going to hit apply and now it's going to say this is my communication path um the next step in my classes, since our design and our runtime are the same, you hit copy from design to runtime. And that's gonna take what's on your runtime local side and put it on your target side or in, in the field. Because in theory, the HMI is a small little computer that can be out in, in Siberia running while you're designing it here in Ohio or Indiana. The other thing I would recommend doing is, is putting in an offline tag file. So for me, this is on my desktop, at least I hope it is. Look for an ACD file. Or maybe it's downloads or quick access. So where is my file? I don't know where I save it to. Uh, well, I found it, so there it is. Hopefully this will work. Um, I would always hit verify to see if there's an issue, hit close, and then always hit okay. It's gonna ask you if you want, and then hit yes. Okay, boom, we're good. The next thing is going to displays. And these are always gonna be there. You can keep them there, it's up to you. Um, I'm gonna go into main and yes, you get a little uh, little small thing. If you wanna make it bigger, hit the little plus sign and you can make it bigger, but just stay within the box so you can see what you're doing. And what you see is what you get. And so I am gonna go in, I like going up to the drop down menu of objects because I, I'm a, I'm a words person, not a picture person. And I'm gonna put in a push button. And I'm, you can do a momentary or maintain. Momentary is in, off. I'm gonna do a momentary and I'm gonna draw a really big button, okay? You can change the colors, you can do that. I'm, that's a different video. I'm just doing a basic, out of the box, this is what we do. You can change it from normally open to normally closed. But this is the next step that you need to set up your states. So at state zero, I'm gonna say all systems go or all lights on. And then this one, all systems go. With an exclamation point. All right, so one and zero. Here's the colors. I would like to, I, I will change a color so that I know it's pressed so I can change this back color to something else and let's do turquoise because why not? Um, you can make the font bigger if you want, so, and make it bold as well. This is all things that you can play with. And hit up, and I would hit apply, it should show up. Next thing is go to connections. This is an important step. This is where you connect the button to your program. Click the little three things and you bring up your tags. If nothing is there, hit refresh all folders. And notice that your connection name should show up right here. It says PLC. Hit the plus sign. I'm going to go online and I'm going to click and you can see some of that is there. 
but mine is under the program tag. So make sure you know what tags where if it's in the, the controller tags or the program tags. And there's my HMI bit. So if I bring my my program over, you can see HMI bit is the name. Okay. I'm going to click HMI bit and hit OK. And this is because this arrow is going back and forth, this is going to change a value back and forth. I always will copy and paste. And you could, in theory, click on this and go through the find the same thing. You know, click on this and find your tag and, and hit on that. Now, this locks up a little bit. Go to just toggle to a different window. And sometime, and that will free it up. I've noticed uh, a student of mine saw that once, and it helps out. And once you do that, hit apply, hit OK, and now your HMI is set to go. If you want to test it, hit the play button. And if I click on it, look, all my lights are on. If I bring over my program that I'm online with and click the button, uh, let me minimize it so you can see you can see the bit get toggled right in the program that's a good sign but you're not done yet hit stop and what i moving forward what i would recommend i would hit save save early save often and i would test the application so you can hit this real little running matter test the application when we start doing some more complex stuff you would want to do it in this environment um, one is just a, a simple test, but if I'm going between multiple screens and multiple things, I need to run the test application. It may give you a, a question, do you want to unpack it? Just hit no, and then hit yes if you just uh, have the same uh, communication path. And so here is my runtime. So basically my computer is acting like an HMI. If I click the button, look, everything is working. And if I hit the shutdown button, it should shut down. Uh, word to the wise, when you're first setting things up, do not remove this button. Do not remove this button um, because that's the only way for you to go between different programs. There is a trick that you can do to get away from it, but just do not remove that button. So now I have a perfectly good HMI. So how do I get it from like my computer to here? First, next thing I need to do is need to create the runtime application. You need to create an MER file. Know where you save it. So because I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to downloads just because I know it's there. This is where you can change your runtime application. Um, if you have a higher application like 10 or 9, you can go all the way up and, and backtrack to any of these. I have 8 right now as we looked over there. So I'm going to create an MER number 8. And now I'm going to hit save. And now it's going to create the package that I can export from the computer to my HMI. And so far, no errors. And the next step would be opening the transfer utility. This is your transfer utility. Find the, the HMI that you have addressed. In my case, it's, it's 50, uh, 251, and the HMI is usually on the screen. So um, you can find your file. So again, mine was in downloads because I could find it easier. Hit OK. And you can change what you download it to. I'm going to just download it as that. If you want, if you ever delete your startup button, uh, shutdown button, you can export a program with a, start, a shutdown button and then make sure you run it on startup. I'm not going to do it at this point because I want to show you how to load it. And so here I go. Here's my MER. Here's my file, hit download, and it's gonna download the MER to the HMI. It says download is successful. And I'm gonna make my, my camera bigger now, and let's take a look. So now, if I hit load application, and there's other programs on here, I see my system go. I hit load. It's asked me, do I want to replace, replace communications? I hit yes, and now it's going to load. And 
And once the run application shows up, you can hit run application. And now look. Hey, does that look familiar? And if I scroll out, hit the button. In real time, all the lights turn on. And if I want to change, I can hit shut down and it will it will allow me to go back to that screen. So run application. And now I have a working HMI. Let me go back to my share screen. And so now that I have this, if I want to share this to another computer, what you need to do is open up the application manager. So if you hit save, you know, it's been saved. I'm going to close this and open up the application manager and, and which looks like a nuclear, you know, if I pull up application manager, it's going to look like this. And this is how I would, would copy an application or back up an application or, you know, or even restore an MER. So say you have an MER on, on, on here, you can exp upport, uh, upload it and restore it into an, uh, the factory view top studio. But if I wanted to back, uh, to, uh, to back it up, um, click here, hit backup, find your, find your application, hit next, figure out where you want to, and you can put a passphrase and other things on there. I'm not going to do it in this case. Um, and hit finish and it's going to create an APA file, which you can then send to different computers and utilize. Okay. But that's how you create a file. That's how you work with application manager. That's how you back things up. So that's what we're that's what, that's the first lab we do with our HMIs. Well, and it's good practice for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions.